Hello guys, it's your boy Emily from Sweden and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys skins selling for the wrong price. Now the reason I'm making this video is first of all we can all take note so that we're all more careful when we list our skins and maybe put in the wrong price. But secondly we can laugh at the people who made a mistake and maybe sold their knife for 30 cents. But before we get into the list of skins selling for the wrong price I'd like to thank today's sponsor which can help you not sell your skins for the wrong price, which is Skins Monkey. They're a trading site for CSGO skins, and it's just as simple as that. It's a good way to change up your loadout easily every so often to play with some new skins. And they've got a 30% deposit bonus, and if you use the link in the description or put the code ANOMALY, you get another 5% for a total 35% deposit bonus. If you're making your first trade, you can also use code ANOMALY and get up to $5 for free. They've also got a freebies tab for giveaways which you can join for free so if you want to try them out then please use the link in the description and thank you skins monkey once again for sponsoring this video so first of all this list wouldn't have been possible without Morocco. he helped me with a list and he also tweets as you can see very nice so go follow him and thank you for helping me with the list now i want to mention that all the skins in this list have only been sold in the last two months so this way we can kind of grasp how big of a problem this is now the first skin is is the minimal wear AK X ray, which sold on the Steam market for 0.04 dollars. Now, if you didn't know, this skin is worth about 1275 euro, so he lost just about all of that value. Very nice. Let's put a little counter in the corner where we can see how much money in total has been lost. So we're already at 1276 euro, and you can see if you go to the Steam market uh, that it did indeed sell for four cents. He's not lying, he's not making making this up. Next item, a Talon Vanilla sold for 0 0.34 dollars, which if you didn't know is just over 600 euros, so that just keeps adding to the list. Bro, how is this possible? Look, it's just stable for so long and then just... Uh. <laughs> Next up is an item many people don't actually know is expensive. The gold Keshander sticker, which sold on the Steam market for $17. We can see the sale right here, 16 euro. And if you didn't know, this one's listed for about 900 euro. So once again, that's almost all the value just lost. On the 24th of May, someone listed their butterfly knife blue steel for $0.5. This one's also worth around 900 euro. So that's all the money just lost. On the 17th of May, two insane sales happened on the Steam market. The first one is for a factory new Op Gungnir, and the second one is for a factory new Wild Lotus, both on the Steam market. The Gungnir sold for 2.7 dollars, and at least he got some value out of the Wild Lotus. It sold for 1,400 dollars. But these are both worth around 11, 12,000 euro, so he lost like 20,000 euro on these two sales. Which is fucking crazy. Like, what sort of lesson can we learn from this? First of all, be careful when you list your items. Secondly, research the value of your item. And thirdly, be careful once again. Don't just put a number and you think it's okay, because then the market bots are going to eat your skins up. Next up, we have an M9 Bayonet Fade, which sold on the 15th of May for a whopping 3 cent. If you look at the lifetime prices of the M9 Fade, you You'll notice oh, one major mishap and this one's worth around 2050 euro so all of that money he just threw it away we're already up to like 27,000 euro on the counter and we've barely even begun the next item that sold are sport gloves omega factory new now if you didn't know any glove in factory new is very very rare which is why this one selling for only 1600 euro is absolutely ridiculous these gloves are worth over 5,000 euros, so uh, obviously not a skin you should sell on the market. And just a coincidence, a knife that fits really well with Omega Gloves, the Karambit Lore, also sold for a mistake price. On the 11th of May, it sold for 114 euro. That's literally about 10% of its true value, just adding more to the counter. Many of you probably know that the Butterfly Knife recently has spiked a lot in value. Well, not according to the Steam market, where one sold for 0.9 
1.97 euro on the 10th of May. That's very nice. This one's worth now like 2,000 euro. So we sold it basically for 2,000 times less than it's worth. <laughs> Moto Gloves Pow also sold for a ridiculously low price of 28 cents. Guys, you can't say you can't afford glove knife combo anymore. You can say for, for like one euro you can afford crazy stuff. If you're very lucky and most likely if you have a market bot. A minimal wear Poseidon also sold for around 16 euro. It's worth around 1.1k dollars. Very unfortunate. Another lore knife, this time the Butterfly Minimal Wear, which is a very expensive knife. It sold for 1,550 euro. How? What's happening? <laughs> Another pair of insanely rare gloves, Sport Gloves Amphibious Factory New. These are worth over 7,000 euro. It sold for only 1,170 euro. So whoever bought these gloves instantly profited over 6,000 euro. Bro, what? Next up is an item many people might not know is expensive. It's this MAC-10 Amber Fade, which sold for only $9.5. Now, it's very rare because it's only one out of three that exist with a recent Kato 2014 foil sticker on it because it's souvenir. It could have been maybe an old player who just had this one in his inventory and came back to CS now that CS2 is about to release and just saw it in his inventory. He's like, yeah, I can sell this one. $9.5. Okay, I'll sell it and didn't know or didn't research the price as I said There's only three of these in the world So putting a price on it is hard, but there's one listed and it's listed for 5,600 euro. So that's the price we're going with I guess it's fucking ridiculous next up is a nomad case hardened and you might think wait Where's the sales you can see all the sales are looking pretty normal. There, there's not really any super cheap sales That's because this nomad case hardened actually sold for the right price price of around 500 euro. But the thing is, it's not any type of Nomad case Harden. No, it's this one. This is a pattern 187, almost full blue gem, and it's hard to put the price on it, but we found a listing on Bitskins where it's listed for $15,000. Very nice. I bet he's not sad at all for selling it for 500 euro on the Steam market. Next up, and this is one I really don't understand. We have the M4i of Horus Factory new. This is a super new skin. People should know it's very rare and very expensive. But still, even though it's such a new skin, one ended up selling on Steam for $176. What probably happened was he was going to sell it for $1,760, which makes more sense, but he forgot the last zero or something and just insta-sold for $176. How are people this stupid? Ah! Next item is our first gem on the list. We have a Falcon Gamma, and as you can see, it did sell for an absurdly low price, but it was an emerald, and it sold for only $600 when it's worth 1,700 euro. So once again, like 60% of the value, yeet, out the window, it's gone, bye-bye money, bye-bye home. Speaking of old players who might come back to see us, that's probably the case with this clan mystic holo sticker, which is worth over 5,000 euro, but he decided to sell it on the Steam market for 1,672 euro. Why? I don't know. Oh, but whoever had a buy order for this is probably very happy right now because they just got like three and a half thousand euro for free. Another insanely rare skin is this number one lowest float SG Cyberforce, which sold on the Steam market for four dollars. This is why I always tell you guys always check your float values if you're opening skins because this one's actual value is probably around 120 to 140 dollars. So he just lost out on quite a lot, not as much as the other guy but still quite a lot for it being a blue skin from a new case. Next oopsie is this Talon Ruby, which sold on Steam Market for 1,500 euro. It's a ruby, it's worth way more. It's worth over 5,000. And now I'm pretty sure that counter is closing in on 100,000 euro lost in only these sales from the last two months. I was very surprised when I saw this one, the Op Desert Hydra, well-worn, selling for only 23 euro. Euro. This is not a super new skin anymore. If it was souvenir, I could have understood it because someone could have opened the packages from the last major, but this is non-souvenir. He must have gotten this one from the last
last operation and now for whatever reason sold it for only 23 euro. Makes no sense. To fit the Talon Ruby, we need a Talon Sapphire, which sold for only $1,300, which is even less than the Ruby sold for, even though this one being worth more than 6.5 thousand euro. One of the bigger surprises in the whole list for me was this M4 Howl field tested, which sold on the 6th of April for only 16.72 euro. Everyone knows the Howl is very rare and very expensive, right? It's from 2014. You wouldn't just randomly get this one in your inventory from a case and then sell it. No, he must have gotten this one from some way where he would know it's expensive. Or it's one of these super old players who just came back to CS and was like, oh, my old skin. It's worth 1600 euro. Better sell it. Well, rip Bozo because this one's worth double that at 3500 euro. Now for a few quick ones. M9 Damascus Steel Factory New, 45 cents. Factory New Marble Fade Gloves, only 980 dollars. Butterfly Safari Field Tested, 38 cents. Virtus Pro Kato 2014 Holo, 1,600 euro. Flip Knife Slaughter, 1.5 dollars. Here's another skin, the guy who unboxed it probably had no idea what he had. The number one lowest float, P90 Traction, which is also around 120 to 140 dollars, sold for less than a dollar. Very unlucky. Always check your float values and your patterns. An AK Blue Laminate with an iBuy Power Holo sold for only 11 dollars. This same exact AK is now listed for 620 euro, which is... <laughs> Man. On the 6th of April, an Ursus Ruby sold for less than half of its value. Now we have two insane skeleton case hardens. The first one doesn't have a cool pattern, but it only sold for $18. And the next one does have a pattern. It's a full backside blue gem, which sold on the market for only $575. The cheapest one with this same pattern, 961, is listed for €3,400. This next one is extremely sad. Like, I would have really wanted it. It's a AK Blue Lamb with four Mouse Sport Holo Kato 2014. This is the only one like this in the world. The only Blue Lamb with four Mouse Sport Holos. And it sold for only $38. That exact same AK is now listed on buff for €6,400. A Statrak Ursus Sapphire sold for just about 30% of its true value. And this one makes me very sad. It must have been an old player who had an EMS Kato 14 Legends in his inventory. If you don't know what that is, that is a Kato 2014 capsule where you can get the Titan Holo and one sold on the 17th of April for 1,700 euro. In today's market, this one is worth something like 15 to 18 thousand dollars which is absolutely insane. On the 31st of March, this Stiletto Sapphire sold on Steam Market for 740 dollars. The real price is something like 5,000 euro. And to end off the list, we have this souvenir Boreal Forest with three stickers from Kato 2014. This is souvenir, so these stickers are foil. This is a very rare P250, and it sold for only $16. This guy had it in his inventory for over three years, and then sold it for $16. Bruh, what? This P250 is worth something like 1,300 euro. At least that's what it's listed for right now. So, guys, thank you for listening to me ramble about these skins, which should be worth a whole lot more, but people are too stressed to sell their skins so they don't check up the true value they just want to sell it instantly and they don't double check their prices whatever you do please research your skins if you do a case opening check your floats check your patterns and if you're an old player who's just now coming back to CS then take a look at your inventory and just figure out is anything rare is anything expensive is anything worth more than Steam Market so as you can see we ended up with over 120,000 euro down the drain in just the last two months. And remember, this is just the funny things that we chose for the video. There's way more skins selling for the wrong price, so please be careful because these market bots are making hundreds of thousands of euro every month. So, thank you guys for watching. Now I'm going to go look at all my old accounts and make sure that I don't have any rare items like this. And whenever I list skins, I'm going to double, triple, quadruple check that the prices are right. Yeah, yeet! Ah!